Today at Gadget Class, I'm going to show you how to replace the carriage wheels on the laser head of your full spectrum laser 40 watt hobby laser. These are the wheels that guide it along the gantry and pretty much align it. I actually uh, was doing some laser engraving on something that was reflective and it bounced up and melted one of these wheels. So I had to order these. I got these from Light Object. Uh, they were labeled as a K40. Uh, I think a uh, track wheel, something like that, uh, but light object is where I got them. And they are not actually exactly the same as the wheels on the laser itself. I'll show you that here in a minute. But all I need is the nylon wheel and the ball bearing part. So that's all I'm going to replace today. If they did have the right post on there, this is an eccentric post. Um, I would have replaced that as well just for the hell of it. But since they're different, we're just going to use the nylon wheel. So all you're going to need is a good precision screwdriver set uh, with all the bits. I'll put links down in the video description below to a good precision, precision screwdriver set. Um, you, need, you want one with both uh, hex and Phillips bits in it. So let's get started here. Just going to loosen up all the set screws here. Actually, we'll just do that one so I can pull that one out and show you what it looks like. And then we're going to use a small Phillips bit. Let's tighten that back down. And uh, we're going to do all four at the same time. So once you get that screw out, the wheels will just pop right off. So there is our old post, and that is the post that it came with. So they are completely different. This one might be for the 5th gen hobby laser, and this one is the 4th gen hobby laser. But all we are concerned about is the little wheel on top. So we're going to go ahead and take that off.
There we go. That'll pop right down in place of the other one. Now let's go ahead and do that for the other three. Okay, now with all four wheels on, you want to make sure you readjust the alignment because the wheels might be a slightly different diameter. And if you had watched my other videos, you know that I leave these in the most forward position, the back ones in the most forward position, so that all you have to do is adjust the front. I'm just going to loosen this other front adjustment. Put another set screw back in place here. Then we're just going to take our small Phillips screwdriver bit, hold the carriage, hold the carriage, and uh, simply adjust. I like to do it in a clockwise motion. Go clockwise until it touches. Go back and forth a couple of times, leave it there. Same thing on this side. Clockwise until it touches. Back and forth a couple of times. And we'll go ahead and lightly tighten our set screws. Make sure we have nice fluid movement, no back-to-back, -back, no play, and that is perfect right there. Let's see if I can find the melted wheel. There we go. That's the wheel that got melted, and it was throwing all of my laser engraving off. Completely pooched it. So make sure you check out the video description for all the links in the video and subscribe to the channel.